Hello, I'm Trent aka a trademark here. Since today is the update and the Christmas passives are most likely going away, I decided to spend a lot of Robux trying to get Blizzard or Yeti onto my Divine Fighters. Hope you enjoy. So we are at 22 trillion damage per click with just our top two shiny divines here. And then if we put on our leader units, that goes up to 37.5. So after the uh, after a week of incubating, well, not quite a week, uh, five days incubating, um, We've actually made quite a bit of progress back to where we were at with the damage event. Not quite. I, would, I think I was at 47, maybe 49. I've lost about 10 trillion damage per click. I think we start with Red Bat. He's the most important character that we need to roll a Christmas passive on. Um, Yeti is actually not good on him. So really the only thing, oh, no way. <laughs> I would have died if I got Yeti yeah, first roll. I need to get Blizzard on him. Obviously rolling off Giant kind of sucks. Uh, you know, Giant is a great passive and usually I wouldn't roll off of it. The thing is though, is that my shiny red bat is going to be relevant to me for a very long time. Oh, that's awkward. Why is it, Why am I getting Giant in the Christmas machine? That's very frustrating. <sighs> Maybe that's a sign that I'm supposed to keep <laughs> keep that. So I think I'm gonna try and roll on my holiday babies. Just uh, now, now with holiday baby, I don't want Blizzard. I actually want Yeti on my holiday baby. So Yeti is the best passive for holiday baby, and um, Blizzard is the best for Red Bat. Okay, well, Christmas Genius is actually probably worth keeping for a little bit because I do want to actually pre-level these. We'll go ahead and roll on the other Holiday Baby. The thing about the the Christmas passive machine is that really nothing in here is as good as, as the tier of passives that are from the other machine. So there's a better chance to get like a good passive from this machine. However, the top two passives, Yeti and uh, Yeti and Blizzard, are the best passives are the best two passives in the game so it's like one of it's this very odd thing where i'm basically looking for an extremely extremely rare roll i'm trying to get this basically 0.88 or 0.83 percent chance of getting one or the other and the thing is that i actually just for uh for padoru i really just want this 0.33 chance so it's extremely extremely unlikely that it happens yeah i think we just roll for blizzard because honestly the biggest dps improvement that we're gonna get is rolling this to blizzard that's that's just like an insanely big uh jump if we can get blizzard on this guy it's like uh that's gonna be our one of our staple units for a long time so it's half a percent which means one in 200 rolls on average Oh, please. One in 200 is what? It's like... What is that, 30,000 Robux? Oh, please, just give that to me. Oh my goodness. Second time between a Blizzard and a Yeti. Don't do me like that. Not between the two blizzards. That's dirty. That's dirty, dude. Right between the two blizzards. I said I wasn't gonna get like excited for those ones that are close, but like, I don't know, I guess I'm just getting like discouraged 
Oh, uh, is it gonna give me giant back? Does this just mean that I just take giant back? Oh, <laughs> did we just roll until we get a mythic? Like, that seems like a terrible idea. Let's see, what is that? That's gonna be a point eight. Let's see, point eight three percent which is a one in 120 chance one in 18 or 18,000 robux on average well this is the name of the game when it comes to anime fighters you have your very lucky streaks and you have your very unlucky streaks and well i was on a hot streak for a while i hit two coin flips on my d divine fighters but uh after that point, I missed my third coin flip on a Divine Fighter. Uh, or no, sorry. After that, I rolled the two shells with Blizzard. Oh, please. Oh. I actually don't even want Blizzard, really. Well, Blizzard on Holiday Baby is okay. Like, it's not a bad passive. Whereas you could argue that Yeti on Red Bat is a bad passive. Oh, don't do anything like that, dude. Don't do me. How do I even get Genius 3 here? This is a better passive than this one, which means that I now roll on this guy. That's weird. I mean, I'll take Genius 3 on Holiday Baby there. I'll actually keep that. So now I gotta roll off this. Oh, just give me Yeti. Just, just. You know, I wonder if I wonder if my odds, my calculations are even correct because when you have passives that are in here that are not supposed to be in here, it makes me wonder if it's even coded correctly. I would love to keep this generous, but it just doesn't do enough. Unfortunately, it needs to be buffed, honestly. On your man, look at that again, dude. Three yetis again. Bro, those are the painful ones, man. Where you just, either you're surrounded by mythicals or you just have like a bunch of mythicals in a row. I don't know how many Robux I've spent on this video actually, but I guess I'm just gonna keep going until I hit a passive or until I hit a mythical. Thing is that even if I hit this like Yeti on Holiday Baby, I can't convert him right now because I only have 16 fruits. I mean, I could try it, but it'd just be another coin flip and there's, you know, it's just not worth it. Hmm, Christmas genius. I think I maybe just go back to rolling on Red Bat. We don't really want Giant on Red Bat in anyways. I really want Blizzard or Ghostly is really the two I want. Thank you. Uh, there it is. So we take us we take a tiny hit to our damage per click, but our damage per second soars off of that. Absolutely skyrockets because of that move. Yeah, you would, I mean, okay, you would think that I would be super excited to get Blizzard on Red Bat. And I mean, it's the best passive that you can have on Red Bat. I am excited that I got it. But honestly, this kind of feels like an L at the same time because I literally spent like 17,000 Robux to get this passive, you know? And while this unit will be, you know, this unit will be relevant for a long time, I don't think that passive is worth 
$170 or whatever, you know? It's just kind of like the state of the game right now, if you want to compete at the top level, you're basically, you need to get shiny divine fighters with good passives. And like I, I did the math on a lot of this stuff, like getting a mythical passive on average requires at least 20,000 Robux. So, so for me to spend 17,000 to get Blizzard, that's actually, it's actually lucky or, or, or it's better than average. That's how insanely expensive it is to get a good passive. And not only that, like even if you get a good passive on a divine fighter, you have to convert them to a shiny for them to reach their full potential. And divine fruits are insanely difficult to farm. Like if you get even one divine fruit per day, like that's, that's lucky. That's above average. And I spent like on my last stream, I spent over 25,000 Robux and I only got four divine fruit. That's not, that's not four rolls on the slot machine. That's just four divine fruit total, which is only two. It's only two successful slot machine rolls out of like 25,000 Robux. Like on average, you're only going to hit divine fruit one every 62 slot machine spins, which is like 9,000 Robux on average. It's just, and, and you don't wanna convert, you don't wanna try and convert a, a divine fighter at a low mount. You know, like I got lucky on two at 14 fruits, but I missed my third. My third um, that I tried to do with Mewtwo, it didn't go through successfully. So, I mean, ideally you wanna farm up like at least 27 fruits. You know, most players, if they have like a really good passive on their divine, they're actually saving up, you know, 35, 40 plus. And that, I mean, that's just so insanely expensive. And so, I don't know, I, th I think this update is just kind of have, has been demotivating for me um, because I am so, you know, competitive and I love to like push min-max and, and push the limits on the game. I'm recognizing that if I want to maintain this pacing, I'm going to have to spend insane amounts of Robux. And then getting a passive is, is the same cost. The shiny divines cost 20 shards per passive reroll. 20 shards. That's like best case scenario for a massive raid. You get one reroll attempt on a shiny divine. And a shiny secret is 10 shards. So it's still ex insanely expensive. It's like, I mean, that means you, you got to do three raids on average just to do one roll on a shiny secret. So it's just kind of de demotivating to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know how, how you feel about the game in its current state. I'll probably actually do maybe like a, some kind of a, um, a questionnaire on my Discord server because I am interested to see how people feel about the game currently. I haven't talked to Dyro recently or given him feedback about the game, so maybe I'll gather some feedback and uh, send that over to him. But anyways, guys, Malo Alpito, thanks for watching, and peace out of here.